Hey up everyone. Right, so I think I'm willing to say now that I think I've cracked this whole non-smoking business now. Um, I basically set up a plan, a plan of attack of what I was going to do, that uh, basically involved me moving over from smoking tobacco to smoking this herbal mix thing that I've got. It's like marshmallow plant and raspberry leaves or something um because i realized that like i liked the act of smoking i liked like inhaling something into my lungs and breathing it out and stuff i wasn't really smoking because like i stopped smoking but then i was smoking then i started smoking a little bit in a little bit but it was more to do with the, me wanting to have the feeling of smoking rather than me craving cigarettes or or having any kind of withdrawal symptoms or anything like that I hadn't had any withdrawal symptoms. I hadn't had any cravings at all. But to be fair, it's been fairly easy, right? Um, this is all down to this ketogenic diet, which seems to, like, break the hold that addiction has on you. So it's, I'd say it's been really easy, to be honest. Um, I kind of fucked up. I stopped smoking. Then I kind of fucked up because I started smoking and I was only having, like, one or two or three spliffs and stuff per day. But I wanted to move over, so I got this herbal stuff, and then I started on Monday. It's like Thursday today. I started on Monday where I got this herbal stuff, and then basically I haven't smoked any tobacco since then, right? So it's been like four days now. Um, all the literature, everything that I've read says that... <coughs> <coughs> says that it takes three days to break the nicotine addiction. So basically, if you stop smoking for three days, then all the nicotine goes out of your body and whatever, you, you stop craving it or whatever. But like, like I say, with this diet, I haven't really had any cravings at all. So I've basically gone four days now without smoking any tobacco at all. Um, I mean, I am smoking... Um, I am smoking this herbal stuff. But again, I'm not smoking that much. I'm smoking about... I don't know. About... Six or seven a day or something like that. Um, yeah, probably about that, that much that I'm smoking. So, you know... In comparison to what I was smoking originally... I was smoking 40 cigarettes a day minimum. Probably more than that, but minimum 40 cigarettes. So to get down to smoking six is is a lot better plus i'm not smoking it's not tobacco that i'm smoking so i've got no nicotine or anything like that it's basically just a habit i've got now do you know what i mean where i'm smoking this because i like the act of smoking something but i'm basically i've given myself well well whatever i was gonna wait until saturday before i declared that i'd, I'd conquered it but like whatever i think after four days of not smoking anything do you know what I mean? There's no way I'm going to smoke tobacco now. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I mean, literally, for me to smoke tobacco now, I'd have to go to the shop, buy some tobacco, get the tobacco out, make a cigarette and smoke it. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> why am I going to do... Why would I ever do that? That's not going to happen. So there's no way I'm going to smoke tobacco anymore. And, like, I quite like this herbal smoke thing. It's got a very similar feeling to tobacco it feels like tobacco it's not um like i basically i've been monitoring my health with my apple watch and stuff right <coughs> and like so so we made exercising in that i've made like massive strides with my health and fitness and my um Like, my standing heart rate is now, like, in the athlete um, thing. So, it's, like, between 47 and 57 is, like, athlete. So, it's, like, 10-point gap thing. Yeah. And basically, I stopped smoking for, like, two days. I didn't have any, any anything at all for two days. And then I started smoking again, right? And basically, you could see this happening with my standing heart rate. So, my standing heart rate went down... And then, as, then when I started smoking tobacco again, it went straight back up, yeah? But it meant I was at, like, 56, 57 
So I was just into the athlete. Do you know what I mean? If it had gone up any more, I'd have gone out of athlete. So I was just at the right top he top end of the athlete scale, yeah. And I noticed this straight away that it was tobacco that was doing this. So I'd like look at my heart rate and then and see what it was, and then have a cigarette and then see look at my heart rate, and you could see it goes straight up, right. Mainly to do, I think, with the level of carbon monoxide and stuff that you're breathing in. That's what it does. It's like... Because, like, carbon monoxide, like, binds to your red blood cells and stops it becoming oxygenated. So that's, like, basically one of the health things that, that, that smoking does. So anyway, around... So basically... Um... <coughs> When I stopped smoking tobacco, it went really down. And then when I started smoking it again, it went up. Right, but then, right, so whatever, I've now switched over from tobacco to this herbal stuff. And, like, my heart rate's gone down again, right? So it's now around about 47, which is, like, at the lower end of the athlete. Any lower than that, I'm into super athlete. So clearly this smoking, this herbal thing is not having the same negative effect on my health that smoking tobacco was. I mean, like, whatever, I'm still smoking. I'm still breathing in smoke, which is not a good idea. Do you know what I mean? There's all kinds of fucking tar and carcinogenics and all kinds of shit that I'm breathing in. I want to get off that eventually. This is just like a stepping stone. Do you know what I mean? Eventually I'll, I'll knock it on head. I won't smoke anything. Apart from at weekends, I'm going to start smoking at weekends. I'm going to smoke weed at, at weekends. But apart from that, I'm going to knock it on head completely. I am still smoking the, it now, but eventually I will get off it. So it is definitely having a negative effect, but it's not having as much a negative effect as what the tobacco was. So, do you know what I mean? Standing heart rate of 47 is pretty good. That's that's like an athlete. So, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, so to be fair, I'm really happy I've... I feel like I've cracked it now. I can't see any any possible scenario where I end up smoking tobacco. Do you know what I mean? Like, even at weekends, when I start smoking weed, I'm going to smoke it with this herbal thing. I'm going to use this herbal thing as the base and then put weed into that. I'm not going to smoke tobacco at all. So, I think I've cracked it. I think I've fucking cracked it. One of the things that I would have thought would probably be the hardest thing. For me to do to stop smoking after 40 years of smoking i thought it'd be probably one of the hardest things i had to do it turns out this ketogenic diet is probably one of the easiest things i've ever had to do <laughs> so whatever i've cracked it fucking cracked it